Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Dan Becker. Um, we're talking about the Mountain Hardware Strato two-person tent, a tent that I love, I hate, and I actually bought it twice. I first used this tent back in, I think it was like maybe May of this year. Um, I took it uh, to a trip to South Dakota, had it through some really wicked storms. This is the Mountain Hardware. Uh, um, this is the Strato two-person tent. Have you ever been in anything like too crazy, uh, rainstorm, epic? Oh, sure. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Any ones that come to mind? Any like nightmare scenarios? <laughs> Here, actually. Oh, <laughs> really? Yeah. Oh, okay. So yeah. uh, we might recreate that. Yeah, yeah. I, I hope you're going to be okay <laughs> No, that. no. We don't want to recreate that. We do not want to recreate that. <laughs> okay. I actually gave it away to uh, one of the camera guys that was on that trip. Uh, he needed a new tent. This thing drove me nuts on that trip for a couple different reasons that we will get into. And uh, so that's why um, I ended up getting rid of the tent. And then I was convinced I was never gonna buy this tent again. But there are, is one big reason why I went back and bought this tent again, which we will also get into. This tent is very similar to a couple of other different options on the market. Uh, one would be the uh, Big Agnes Tiger Wall. Another one would be the um, Nemo Hornet because those are semi freestanding tents and this is a semi freestanding tent as well which essentially means that it needs um, just a couple of stakes uh, very similar to those other tents right here on the front end to stake it out properly. What's really different about this tent and it I just don't like it because I think it's kind of outside the norm it's almost like they're trying to reinvent some way to set up a tent but in reality, I'm not sure what it really does. It might save a little bit of weight, but they have these little hooks here with the loops attached to the actual tent. So when you're setting it up, it's cold out right now. It's probably 30 degrees here in Wisconsin, and my fingers are losing dexterity. And for you to set this up, especially in cold weather, it's just kind of a pain. See, I'm even having, there we go, to hook these on rather than other tents where you would actually just kind of snap a little hook on to the poles which pretty much every other manufacturer every other manufacturer out there already does and then the other um, thing about this tent is that it's super easy to overlook when you're setting it up is you have to feed this tent pole through this little loop well you don't have to but if you don't it's gonna make the tent kind of push in a little bit you're gonna lose room so you have to feed this through this loop and then you have to feed it uh, into this sort of grommet thing on the bottom here. So uh, for those reasons, this tent really just drove me nuts. It's just finicky to set up. And then once we get the rainfly on, I'll show you how the rainfly attaches to the bottom here, which is also an interesting way to do it as well. So let's get the rainfly on. All right, so you gotta look for the uh, color-coded um, guy lines on the end to see where the foot end or the head end is. And you could also look for the um, the logo, which is in white, on white. <laughs> it's probably hard to see even on camera, right? Wow. Yeah. So the guy lines here um, oftentimes will attach out to a stake, but on this tent, it's just got this little loop and you got to kind of lift up the corner of the tent and then wrap it around that corner like that. And then all of the corners on this end are uh, able to be tight and tensioned. The foot end, you can't do that though. So like on this end here, it would attach to the top of the stake like that. And then there's one last one here. You see what I mean? It's just, just finicky trying to get these dumb loops on here. There we go. These are the stakes that come with the tent. Um, on every tent that I own, I get rid of the stakes that come with the tent. This is a standard stake that comes with a lot of different brands of tents. Uh, so like Mountain Hardware, Big Agnes, a lot of others will uh, buy stakes from DAC. This is a DAC stake. I don't know if you can see that at all. Can you see that on there? Yep. Okay. And then I replaced them with the uh, MSR Groundhogs. I mean, massive difference. These hold much better. But I'm just using these here because they came with the tent, so at least you could see it. <laughs> but that's why it looks like they haven't been used because I haven't used them. <laughs> One thing I do like about this tent though is that um, I didn't really have an issue with the doors catching on the zipper very often. So but that's just Velcro here. But it does open and close <laughs> very well. So I've got some other tents uh, like Big Agnes. Uh, the 
copper spur that I've got and the uh, tiger wall are like constantly catching on the zipper and that's really annoying, but they're great tents. And then the door here just rolls back and toggles right here on that little toggle. And then it just kind of holds it in place. It's okay, it kind of flops down on the bottom here, but it does keep it out of the way. Um, the zipper is uh, on the tent is almost like a mixture of like a rainbow door and like the two zip door because it sort of curves up here like this, which is kind of nice, I think. <laughs> Uh, but it's really easy to open with one hand. So the Rainfly, uh, according to Mountain Hardware, is a... Let me check my stats. So the Rainfly, according to Mountain Hardware, is a uh, 20 denier ripstop nylon, 1200 millimeter silicone coating. Uh, the floor is a 30 denier ripstop nylon with a 1500 millimeter coating. Let's go inside the tent now and I'll show you kind of how much room is inside this tent. Welcome to the Mountain Hardware Stretto two-person tent on the inside. So, uh, headroom is great. Uh, I believe it's... <laughs> I wasn't gonna do stats, Gordon. Yep, here we go. I'm gonna do it. If I get them wrong, <laughs> I'm gonna put them on the screen. <laughs> okay, uh, I think it's 39 inches high. Uh, so, good headroom uh, for two people. This is a true two-person tent in my opinion. Um, I'll tell you why in a second. So uh, everybody's got uh, one big pocket up here. You've also got a pocket here. The other guy's got a pocket here. You can hang a headlamp from the middle up here. Uh, there's also a spot over here if you really wanted to do that. Another little loop up here if you really wanted to do that. Um, and that's pretty much it for being able to hang stuff inside the tent. You notice at the front of the tent there kind of tapers down the sides there. That's okay. Um, I didn't have any problems with like my sleeping bag or anything pushing on here. And I did sleep in this tent with myself and my 14 year old son on this last trip and it was perfect. Okay, but I think now we're gonna tell you why I bought this tent for a second time. But in order to do that, I gotta take the rain fly off and that will be the best way to show you why. Just got back from Yosemite National Park and the sleeping pads that I needed were uh, very cold weather sleeping pads. I needed to fit two of them inside of the tent that were both rectangle, because that's what they are, 25 inch wide pads for both myself and my son. And I needed a tent that had the floor space to do that. Now, this is the only tent that I know of that is under $400, that isn't from some off-brand unique company, cottage vendor, that has a floor space, uh, and that also isn't like a trekking pole tent, that has a floor space of a 50 inch wide bottom and could easily fit in those sleeping pads. Do we have sleeping pads just handy? I think there? we do. We do? Yeah. Oh my gosh, okay, let's, uh... oh. look at that. Okay, oh. so this is a 25 inch wide Nemo Tensor Alpine. It's the rectangle version, so it's 25 at the bottom and the head. Look at this. Yeah, another one. Oh yeah. Weird, it was randomly in my backyard. There you go, fits perfectly two 25 inch wide rectangular pads all the way at the head, all the way at the foot. They're not overlapping, nothing's abnormal about it. You're not forcing them to fit. So that's why I say this is a true two person tent. Uh, so for that reason, I absolutely love this tent um, because none of the other tents that I have unless I get like a three person tent is gonna be able to do that. And this thing still weighs packed, like totally packed, Gordon, under two and a half pounds. Oh my all goodness. In. I know, it's wow. pretty awesome, right? Floor dimensions, 86 by 54. This was actually sent to me by Mountain Hardware <laughs> because you can't even find this tent on their website right now because they're having supply issues. Are you surprised that we're having supply issues <laughs> no, right now? <laughs> no, thanks COVID. <laughs> thanks COVID. But you can get this at Backcountry right now, I do believe, because that's where I got it. I think it's still on there, so I'll put the link in the description below if you guys want to check out this tent there. Now that I've set it up a few times, it's growing on me a little bit just because I'm learning it. It's kind of like, I don't know, switching to a different... It's like going from Apple to Android or something. Sure. Right? Yeah. It's probably a terrible comparison. <laughs> but if you can get past that, uh, not even close to technical as that. <laughs> <laughs> but if you can get past that, just how finicky it is to set up, some things you got to learn about it for sure. Um, it did fabulous in the rain. Um, I had it in some pretty serious wind. 
Um, it's got tons of room inside for two people to really have a true two-person tent that's actually called a two-person tent. Yeah, it's a great tent and it's under, it's about 400 bucks out the door, just like every other tent in its class. Yeah, so if you can, you can pass that and you love having that kind of room in there, this is a great tent. If you guys like this video, make sure you hit that like button. Also subscribe for more. And make sure you hit the bell notification so that I can send you a video every single time it's released. And I will see you on the next one.